Hello guys, if you are still confused about using space under stairs, building stairs in diagonal rooms, and other hacks, this video is what you are looking for. This video will thoroughly discuss everything about stairs. Let's move on to the first tip. So the first tip, did you know that you can use the room under the stairs as a laundry room? You just need to add this door and the washing machine. Place the washing machine slightly outward. Add different tiles. Then you can also build storage to store buckets and soap for washing. You can use the window from the Jungle Adventure Pack. Remember, make sure the washing machine is slightly outward but not outside. You can use the ALT key to move it. And this is totally functional. The stairs also remain functional. What do you think? Interested in trying it? Let's move on to the second tip. Have you ever wanted to build a bathroom under the stairs but it turns out it doesn't work? This is because you did it wrong. I'll show you the right way. First, you delete the wall carrying this ladder. Then build a half wall and add a curve entryway. And finally, you only need to decorate with a toilet and bathtub, and of course, this works. The important point is that so that the room under the stairs functions, you can't use the original wall of the stairs but use a half wall. And the ladder still works? What do you think? Okay, go to tip three. In this third tip, I want to use the room under the stairs as an access room to the basement. This can also be a secret room. I just need to build a half wall and add a door and access stairs. This really saves space. Okay, let's move on to the next tip. Maybe if you want a two by two room, you can build it under the stairs. This is very unique. You can even make it into two rooms, the warehouse and bedroom. Even your rooms can be connected to each other if you want to add an entry door. So here, I decorated the room with an industrial theme. I added some items from the industrial kit. You can also add a TV, guitar, and bookshelf. And next to it, there is a warehouse and chairs. You can use the chair too. And what's more unique is that I added a window here so you can see what they are doing in the warehouse there. This is very interesting. What do you think? Okay, next tip. I will use the room under the stairs as a pet house. First, you also need to add a half wall and the pet door. I also added awnings and windows. So this is like a pet house, right? Then, on the side, add a door for your sims. Don't forget the decorations. And yes, your pet can come in and you can also refill the food. They can even sleep here. What do you think? You must try this. Have you ever had a staircase like this? You know that you can build a room under it. You just need to delete this. Add a half wall and add a door here. Then you can add a study table. You can also add a refrigerator, bookcase, house for pets, play area for children, and everything works. You have to try it. And if you want to get The Sims 4 pack plus a discount, you can buy it using my link. Link in my bio. This is a boring space under the stairs. Maybe you can do something. First, you need to build a wall and you can add a table and mirror. And I also built a very small room here. And have you ever placed a fireplace under the stairs? I'm sure you have. However, maybe your fireplace is like the one on the list. Maybe you can try something different, and this can actually match the vibe of your home. Build a half wall and add immaculates on the left and right sides. Then add the fireplace. It's very modern, so stop short of putting in the original fireplace. And on the right side of the stairs, you can add a vertical wool from EcoPack. 
This will make your understairs space more attractive. What do you think? Two tips for building stairs. First, I will build it in a modern and luxurious style. You just need to build a platform and raise it. Add stairs and railings. Use darker colors to make it look modern and luxurious. Beside the stairs, you can make a small garden. Add small trees and rocks. Don't forget to also add a table. This staircase looks modern, a combination of industrial style. Secondly, I will build stairs that are cute, more colorful, and show happiness. You only need to give it a soft light color, like light blue. Then, next to the stairs, you can create a relaxing area. Use a cabinet and add a sofa. Decorate with dolls and add the blue curtains. This staircase looks more colorful, cute, and fun. Which one do you choose? Write in the comments. Another idea for using the space under the stairs. First, you have to remove the wall next to the stairs, then add some wall vents from The Sims 4 base game. Use the alternate key to make it easier for you to arrange the wall vent. Rebuild the walls and add chairs from a spa day or something, then add two plant pots. You can decorate the walls with retreat cedar bars from the Snowy Escape Pack and add wall plants. In my opinion, this will give a fresh atmosphere to your home. And this all works. I want to let you know if you want to get the new For Rent Expansion Pack. You can pre-order now using my link because you will get a 28% discount. Link in my bio or pinned comment. Okay, next tip. I want to use the room under the stairs as a child's room. You don't need a half wall. You only need to build stairs above a room measuring two and two grids. And the triangular room under the stairs can be used as a playroom for children. And you can also add a large bed here. And it still works. If you are confused about how to use the space under the stairs, you can follow these tips. Add an arch to your stair wall. Then add the aquarium. And add a sofa. Don't forget to decorate with flowers, pillows that come from chairs, and carpets. This is all fully functional. Your ladder will still work. This will make your home more beautiful. Next tip. Maybe it's no longer the case if you still ignore this room under the stairs, because even the desk still functions here. So you can really save space. Okay, let's move on from how to use the understairs room. I think it's very clear. So I will discuss how you should build stairs to make them more attractive. As in this tip, before you add stairs, you can build a platform like this. Then add stairs. The advantage is that you can create a special space between two stairs and you can add a piano to this space. This is much more interesting, don't you think? Next tip, I want to show that we can use the platform as a ladder, but you have to make it like in this video to make it more interesting. Okay guys, I want to inform you that if you want to get the Sims 4 pack or stuff at a cheaper price, you can buy it at Instant Gaming. The link is in my bio. You will get a discount of up to 70%. Okay, move on to the next tip. If the stairs in your house are like this, maybe you can try something different. First, build a wall with a shape like this. Then raise the platform. And you can add a room over here, and you can add an arch. 
You can make the room a living room or bedroom. Then add stairs. Press and hold the control key to make it easier for you to place the stairs from the second floor so you can place them correctly. Add a wall next to the stairs. Add a bookcase. And don't forget to decorate the stairs. What do you think? Do you want to try it? I also want to inform you that I am giving a 40% discount on all Sims 4 packs and stuff, so you can get what you want at a cheaper price. You can also get a giveaway if you participate. The link is in my bio, and I have pinned comments. Okay, next tip. I'll show you how I made the platform an alternative to stairs. First, I form the pattern using a flat fence. Then, I raise the platform and add stairs. I also decorated it by adding glass and other decorations from the horse ranch pack. Maybe this is more suitable for a cowboy house. You can get a horse ranch pack with a 60% discount by purchasing via the link in my bio. And finally, this ladder is finished and everything is working, huh? Good luck. In this tip, I will use a semicircular platform as a ladder, and I also combine it with several other platforms. And in the middle, there will be free space. You can add anything here. And under the stairs, I also decorated with a small garden. This style may be suitable for a modern industrial home. So with any platform, even circles too. Next tip. I'm sure you must be afraid to use a round room for your house, but don't worry, you can use a round room with this round platform near the stairs. Why? Because on this side of the circle, you can add trees, for example, a Christmas tree, a circular sofa, or maybe a piano. So you don't need to build a circular staircase because there aren't any in Sims 4 but you can make one like the one in this video. What do you think? I hope this video inspires you. Next tip, almost the same as the previous video, but I added a sofa next to the stairs. You can also add an awning above the sofa. I think it would be cuter and prettier if you added it. Then, under the stairs, I used it as a library, so I added some immaculates and created a bookshelf. And this, of course, doesn't interfere with the function of the stairs. And the bookshelf also remains functional, including the sofa, so I imagine they took a book and sat on this sofa, which is very interesting, right? What do you think? Sometimes I feel like there's something missing from this part of the stairs. Maybe we can add this unique cupboard in the corner. This cupboard is from the cat and dog pack. Then we can add lights and flowers. Maybe this will make the stairs more attractive. We can also add wall decorations from eco packs and mirrors. What do you think? I hope this inspires you. I also want to inform you that I am giving a 40% discount on all Sims 4 packs and stuff, so you can get what you want at a cheaper price. You can also get a giveaway if you participate. The link is in my bio, and I have pinned comments. In the next tip, I will explain all about diagonal rooms. Firstly, you will definitely feel the difficulty of adding stairs in a diagonal room. Sometimes stairs make a room look narrow. But you can add triangular platforms and stairs. On this platform, you can add glass windows. This will give the impression that your room is bigger. You can also decorate with Christmas trees or other plants. This certainly works and makes your home better. Or you can also create several platform layers with a shape like this. You can use a fence first to divide the room and raise the platforms as many times as you like and add stairs between the platforms. This is much better than just using stairs. This is also a trick for saving your room. You can take advantage of each platform by making it a living room or kitchen. 
like in this video. So I hope you are no longer confused about how to add and utilize diagonal rooms. Okay, on to the next tip. I still have four more tips on how to build stairs in a diagonal room, so make sure you don't skip this video. Next tip, I will give you inspiration on how you build stairs in your living room and you can see how I organize a library, where I prefer large bookcases. So I added bookcases on the first and second floors. I also chose to build a lower platform to add a sofa. In this video, I also show how I use a small room as a small garden as decoration for your home. I hope this inspires you. Thank you. 
Okay, next tip. If you have a round room or platform, you will definitely have difficulty adding stairs. Maybe this is if you have a castle tower, but you just need to watch this video. So first, you need to build a rectangular room, add the platforms, and then add the stairs. The stairs can be circular like this. Then under the stairs, you can use it as a library. And this, of course, works. I hope these tips inspire you. If you have a high foundation, please don't build your stairs like this. Please don't. You just do this. Elevate your land using the terrain tool. Then color it. Then add stairs. Don't forget to add plants to the left and right of the stairs, like in this video. What do you think? I hope these stair tips are useful. Next tip, you must be having trouble adding a stair railing in the middle. Don't worry, I have the hack. All you need to do is build the stairs twice. Add the stairs and railing, then copy it and make sure it's next to it. Or you can build the stairs one by one and then you will get a hand railing in the middle. Next tip, if you have high ground in your house, you can draw like this, it's like a ladder. And you can also add rocks around it. We know that this is plain, but with a design like this, it's like there are stairs there. What do you think? Hopefully, it's inspiring. 